So good afternoon all. Myself Kamal Kundra from Pentagon Tech Fusion Services Private Limited. Today I am going to give you the demonstration of our latest product that is PTW 75 inches with Android 11 with Google Verify Play Store. So as you can see this is the display that I am showing you right now and the entire demonstration will be done in a three parts. First is the hardware part, the second one will go with the Android thing and the third one we will go to the Windows part. So without further ado, I will just start with this hardware part. So as you can see this is our silver edition metal body panel and now it comes with the 4 mm toughen glass with 4K display and it also comes with the frontal port and the port at the back of the side. So now we can see that there is a two USB ports over here, one touch port is here, one HDMI port is here and one type C port is here also with the environmental sensors. So as you can see this is the hardware thing. Now I am just opening the Android. In so now I am just start with the whiteboard. So this is the interface of the whiteboard that we are having right now. And these trays are the you know icons that I am going to show you one by one. So at this display you can see this is the menu option that we are having and in this option we can have the new open safe safe as import export cloud storage theme send email and settings. So one by one I will just show each and everything and what is the functionality of this. So with the new thing so every time we uh, you know uh, we uh, click the new button the entire new page will be open with the open button when we click it this will be the uh, interface uh, it uh, uh, opens the finder this is the uh, kind of a uh, file storage system over here. So as we can see we can have this entire uh, folder system over here more on that basically uh, the android is coming with this uh, this panel is coming with this 4 gb ram and 32 gb internal storage but we are also giving you the 15 gb cloud storage so as you can see over here open i'll just click the cloud drive and here it is the add button so once i add it it asks you to add an account over to the Google Drive or the OneDrive. So this is the 15 GB uh, cloud storage that we are uh, giving you. It's absolutely free. It's inbuilt in the panel as you can see in front of you. So once we just you know once we just uh, give the entire uh, you know entire specifications with it. So we can upload our files our videos are other things you know photos and all documents on the cloud storage and we can have this access from the remote locations or from the uh, another panel and from the other another server as well. Moving forward our next tabs are save and save as so once we write anything on this uh, you know on this screen and if we want to uh, save it so we just click the save button over here next is the save as so whenever we just uh, you know click the save as it asks you where you want to save it when we uh, click the save button it will defaultly save in the you know already uh, already uh, present folder but if you want to uh, save in a specific folder in that folder that you want to uh, you know put the uh, document so you can save as 
you can save it as with the save as button next one is the import so these are the you know uh, these are the uh, formats that we are having img pdf svg and iwb so these are the formats that we can change our document into or we can save in this particular format as compared to the export the same uh, formats will be given to you and these all formats we can have this uh, entire uh, document into our uh, you know pen drives or our uh, external devices this is the cloud storage that we ha uh, we have already uh, discussed over here next one is the theme so these are the two basic uh, you know uh, background that we are giving you right now one is the template so in the template we can select different kinds of lines with the different kinds of lines or with the different kinds of backgrounds so mostly it is useful for the different different uh, activities more on that we can also change the you know color of this panel or the background and we can have our own image if we want to paste it as a you know as our own brand or if there is any kind of school is there if if there is any kind of uh, coaching is there so they can have their own branding behind the screen with this option okay right so the next option is send email so with the send email option we can directly share our documents our working document uh, to the you know to the specified mail address or to the specified server so through this option we can have this this uh, the next one is the settings so these are the you know uh, panel settings that we are having right now so it's a eraser mode with the eraser mode there is a eraser and there is a eraser selection so what they are doing actually so if for example if i just select it uh, any pen and i am just writing some word and if i want to erase it with the normal eraser so this will happen we can just adjust the eraser size and this will be removed like this okay but if we select the eraser selection mode so now we can select it selectively so for example if i only select this one so it will be removed like that or if we want to remove the entire this word so it will be removed like this okay now then the next option is there it's multi finger writing so when the this multi finger writing will activate it will give you up to 20 touches of uh, writing so this is the example of the 20 touch i am just touching up to because these are the only uh, 10 fingers i am having right now but you can write it up to 20 touch so this uh, this multi uh, finger writing is looking like that and if we just you know if we uh, deactivate this option so we can just shift the entire screen so for example if i write something and now it's the multi finger writing option is already deactivated so in this particular case this screen will move around i am touching with my two fingers 
and it will be revolved like that. Okay, so there is another option it is automatic brightness. So, in this automatic brightness as you can see there is a sensor available over here. So, it will sense that how much lightning in the uh, environment in the room or in the studio and it will, and it will automatically uh, give the brightness to the panel as per the sensor uh, sense the environment lightning. So, if we want to just you know uh, deactivate it. So, we can adjust the light uh, brightness accordingly. So, I am just activating it and this is the custom toolbar. So, this custom toolbar will give you the entire uh, you know entire icons entire functionality of this particular whiteboard. So, now I am just moving to this next feature which is very beneficial. So, this is the share button that I am clicking over here. So, this share button what will it will do? It generate a QR code and the entire working all the documents will be transferred into some specific link and it will be transferred to, to your external device like your uh, ordinarily we use the mobile phones. So, we can share the entire working the entire documentation through this QR code and as we can share as we can scan it the entire documents will be transferred into this particular device. One more thing we can also uh, change or you know uh, transfer the mode of this particular documentation like PDFs we can share it and we can share it through our uh, WhatsApp groups or the something like that. Next is so, these are the list available over here. So, whatever the working whatever the all the you know uh, back end uh, screens are uh, you know uh, screens are active. So, this will be shown like this. So, all the back side uh, screens is available. So, all the uh, all the screens would be marked like this. Next I am moving to this main tray this will give you the you know brief introduction of what the whiteboard has. So, as we can see we start with the pen. So, this is the pen option and I am very much glad to just present you there are two types of pen that we are giving you one is the two in one tip top pen and the second one is a marker looking pen. So, what is the difference between uh, two pens? So, for example, if I just select with the two in one pen so, for example, if I just select the two in one pen. So, at the start I will just write some word hello and the next word I am writing with the back of the side. So, as you can see it will change it color. So, how does it happen? It gives you two things. So, as we can see the tip the nip uh, tip of the pen I have selected the black color and at the back of the side I have selected this uh, magenta color right. So, there are two two colors with two in one pen we can use and I know that some teachers use this very well. For example, if they want to show the uh, one option uh, with the different color and if there is a second option they can use it through the other uh, color right. So, this is the functionality of this particular pen. This pen it is only uh, having a one tip that is a marker tip and as we can see that the marker tip is already in magenta color or the violet color we can say. So, this is the if we want to change the color. So, we can change the color as well. So, 
So these are the functionalities of these particular pens. Now I'm moving to this erasing part. So we have already discussed this. This is the normal uh, eraser. We can erase it through both of the sides. The one side is, for example, if I'm just writing anything, triangle. And now I can just erase it through our tip of the pen or I can also erase it through our palm. So both the options are available. Uh, one more thing I forgot to uh, just discuss with it. There are three pens more available. So this is the brush pen that we can use, the brush pen. So it will give you the texture of the brush like this. And this is the tip top pen. So it is also give you the texture of like a tip top pen. Now there is a another option that we can have. This is the magic pen that we are having right now. So what the magic pen will do, whenever we just try to just, you know, whenever we just try to make any picture, so its AI will detect it and it gives you the option that what you are going to draft, what you are going to write. So for example, if I just click it over here, so it will recognize my intention that what I am, uh, you know, what I am going to draft and its AI will detect it and present you some of the pictures that we can have right now. And it already, uh, the panel is already have a preloaded with the more than one lakh pictures. So whatever we are draw, uh, drawing over here, for example, if I drawing like this star, so it will give you the picture of the star, right? Uh, it will give you the picture of uh, anything else. For example, if I'm just like, so it will give you this picture or mobile phone or whatever you are trying to just draft, it will give you that draft. We can also change the color, shape, sizes, of this particular draft. Also we can shift, you know, the shift the entire picture and we can take it as a example and we can just try to explain the pictures or whatever the games we can play. So we can have all this. Next is the clear all. So as you can see the clear all once the working is done, we can have this clear all option. So on the one click the entire, uh, you know, entire writing on the board will be deleted. So with the clear all, everything will be removed. There are some more options available to over here. So we can select the ruler. So as we can see the ruler, we can just draft any line. We can also use R D. So D is also available over here. So 30 degree angle we can have. Like this. Or we can also change the size of it. Next, next we are giving you the shapes. 
so there are two types of shapes we are giving you one is the 2d and the second one is the 3d so with the 2d option we can have this preloaded option available so these are the options we can also change the frame or we can also give the color to the particular picture there are also uh, some more options available so fill and i can add the same like this okay there are also uh, 3d option also available so with the 3d option the picture will look like this So these are the you know 2D and 3D models that we are giving you. The next is a also a very important feature. It's a table feature. So with this feature, we can add any kind of table to this uh, to the document. But the main thing in this particular feature. its ai will detect a very so as you can see that the entire word it's under the box so its ai has detected this uh, writing uh, space and it will merge that particular uh, you know line or the space for the fitment of the word so for example i'll take the another word for example i am taking this apple and it will look like this okay more on that we can just shift the entire table or if we want to add some more boxes we can do that and we can take it as a resource and we can explain each and everything okay now with this feature there is a one more feature that is mind mapping so with this mind mapping thing we can just have our own mind maps with it and we can explain our core concepts our uh, you know core concepts or subheadings with this particular option the next one is the sticky notes this one is my favorite so these are the sticky notes so as we can have there are so many post it notes we are having for the you know task completion so for example i take uh, i see it like this for example if the te uh, teacher is you know having some session having some kind of session and a student wants to just have a query any kind of query it will be so but teacher wants to answer this particular question but he doesn't want to you know uh, disrupt the session so in this particular case what a teacher can do he can just use this sticky notes option so in this particular option he can just as a reminder he can use it so it will put this question as a reminder and it will uh, you know paste the question or the references of this particular question and it said okay so as you can see that it will be posted over here right i'll give you the example of the another one and if the another another student wants to have some question so this is the question number 
and it will paste it like this. So, the teacher has the teacher know right now that there is a question needs to be asked uh, needs to be uh, you know answered. So, these are the questions that he is having and once the task is done he can always uh, you know delete this particular post it note from here or here ok. One more option is very beneficial right now. So, this one is the preview mode. So, with this particular preview mode what we can do for example, if I am going to uh, you know explain some deep question some deep uh, topic and it has a many branches for example. Now, I need the more space on this uh, whiteboard, but I am not able to have it. So, we can use this preview option and we can shift the entire screen and now we can add some more topics, some more branches to the main topic right. We will also you know we will also uh, shrink this particular space and shift it this is the thing right. So, one last one of my last favorite feature is a grid. So, what it will do basically you can just you know it is a auto correct grid. So, it will just take your word and you can uh, it will auto correct it the more option is that you can also search this particular word or directly to the internet from the uh, internet and you can have the access from there. So, how it will be done for example, if I am just this is the word that I am having right now it call it is called the human. So, I am just it is auto corrected it gives you the uh, you know uh, different words that what you are trying to write and I am trying to write the human. Now, if I want to search that word over to the net internet. So, it will directly give you the option of text t search top clone delete. So, this is the text search option we can already have this So, as you can see that this will be the entire uh, resources available over to the net with this particular single word. So, for example, if I need only this information from the word for example. So, what I can do there is a more option available to it. So, at this arrow mode we can have this crop crop thing. So, we can take this particular information on the internet and we can have directly put it over to our whiteboard. So, with this option particularly we can have this information from the net and now we can take this information as a resource and we can just explain anything A, B or C topic. Whatever we want to just explain it or use this resources we can have this ok. One more thing it will also uh, provide you the split screen option. So, the panel is having a split screen option. So, for example, if I am just having this option. this is the split screen option. So, on the one on the uh, first half we can have this particular whiteboard and on the second half we can have the browser open we can have our camera open. So, for example, if I am just having this camera
So, on the split screen, I am just having this uh, browser open. So, on the half of the screen, I am having this whiteboard and on the half of the screen, I can have any, uh, you know, any kind of resource, any kind of resource or any kind of, uh, you know, uh, internet availability over here. So, as you can see there are a lot of options available right now. We can have the timer with us, we can have the stopwatch with us. There is a one more option that is the record. So, this is a very important and very good feature right now and with this feature we will give you the very very lucrative device inclusive in the panel. So, I will just show you in a minute. So, for that particular uh, you know recording thing, this is the device that I am talking about right now. So, friends this is the normal remote control that every smart board or every smart TV is having right now, but we have done a very good job on our R and D team that this remote control comes with the inbuilt microphone. It has a QWERTY keyboard as you can see there is a QWERTY pad is there and it will comes with the uh, you can say air mouse as well. So, this is the 4 in 1 device that we are having right now. So, for example, if I activate it. So, as you can see the pointer is there, right? the pointer is there and I am just going to write or the record this particular session. So, for example, if I am just recording it. So, I just want to, to write anything. As we all know it also has a inbuilt mic. So, it is recording and I am just recording anything. For example, I am recording anything. So, as you can see this is the uh, this is what I have written and now I am going to close this recording and we will play and see that how our voice is coming and the entire recording how it will get done. So, it will be stopped and now I can check it that how the recording is going to be done. So, now friends I am going to give you the uh, exact presentation of the you know that how the split screen is going to do. So, there is an option that we are having right now the split screen. So, with this split screen option we at one side we can have this whiteboard uh, whiteboard and on the second uh, second half we can have our browser open or we can have our uh, cameras if there is any camera installed. So, right now I am just taking this. So, now you can see that there is a uh, two screens available. So, on the first screen we are having this uh, whiteboard and on the half screen we are having this uh, camera open. 
so what we want to do is that for example if i just add a one page and if i just want to add anything for example if i'm just adding anything so it will look like this right and the camera is already open one more thing if we just start uh, we can just uh, flip it out as well here we can flip it out and there's a one more option for example if i am having uh, the browser on this on the second screen so we can take uh, this internet uh, resource as a you know as uh, as a resource and we can have and we can uh, enote onto it so how it will be done so for example i am just again taking this split screen here it is so on the first half i am just taking this whiteboard and on the second half i am taking this browser so this is the browser and human or diagram so this is the human art di diagram i have choose and it will look like this now i want to just uh, portrait some uh, some of the you know some of the areas and i want to just highlight some of the areas of on the screen and we can take this as a resource so for example i am just taking it onto the enote mode so this is the enote mode that we are having now i can write over to it anywhere so for example if i just wanted to highlight this portion i can have if i wanted to highlight this option we can have or if i just wanted to clean it so we can have like this more on that there are more options available so for example if i'm just having this home mode there is a option available like a camera so we can have this full camera available as well this is the full camera this is the vc camera that we are having right now the second one is the touch overlay so you know sometimes you know we use this panel as a whiteboard as a uh, presenting device but sometimes we also want to take it as a you know home theater kind of screen so there is a touch overlay option available with this particular option we can make this touch panel into the non touch panel so how it will done we just choose it and we can have this touch overlay option so you can see there is a icon over here and once i just clicked it for example if i have just clicked it like this uh i just started the google chrome for example so here is the already we are having this screen and if i want to just touch it so it will be you know functioning very smoothly but if i activate the touch overlay panel so now it restrict it to the panel that it will be a non touch so as now am i touch uh, you know uh, touching the panel everywhere anywhere it won't be you can say it won't be you know functioning so we can use it as a this is this is uh, this thing it's that we our five finger sensor so if you touch the five finger so it will go on to the sleep mode in case if in case the teacher wants to take the whole attention of the audience so he can just you know touch the panel with the five finger it will go into the sleep mode and again if it touch with the five finger it will be on okay so where we uh, where were we we are just on the touch node so now if i deactivate this particular thing now i am able to 
scroll it down the entire thing right more on that there are more options available so uh, we can have this uh, freeze option available we can have the child lock available and there are some more uh, features available like a calendar so we can have this calendar with our panel as well there are uh, there will be the timer so we can use the timer or we can set any kind of quiz so we can have this thing right now there are more options available right now so there are some very important uh, you know third party uh, apps we are having right now so this is the thing so here we can have a very beautiful app this is the e share pro app so how it is done i'll just give you the brief demonstration of that so this is the e share pro so what is the usage of this particular app it will give you the you know it will give you the option to just screen mirror your uh, external device like your mobile phone or your laptop and connect it to this particular panel and there will be two or more options available you can use your uh, mobile phone as a remote control as well to want to just operate the entire screen with your uh, mobile device so how it will be done right now i am having this mobile phone and i have already downloaded the app from this qr code so once you just scan your uh, you know scan this qr code with this particular uh, camera camera uh, cam uh, camera or scanner you can have it so i have already downloaded and i am just scanning it to just have the connection so as you can see my app will show me two options share screen or tv mirror and there is a more options available like audio video photo document camera and remote as well so if i just share the screen it's a simple screen sharing so right now as you can see that my entire screen will be shown like this if i wanted to mirror the panel so there is a another option is available so i'm just stop the sharing and tv mirror option i'm enabling so as i can as you can see the entire panel display would be on my mobile phone and whatever i just write it or just scroll it if i write over here you can see that this will be portrayed on the panel as well okay there is a file folder option is there we can upload the photos we can upload the audios we can upload the videos if we wanted to act if we wanted to uh, you know have the camera camera open so i can you can see that the entire my studio i can just have it through my mobile phone more on that there is a very beautiful option available that is the remote control option so once i just click on the remote control option so the entire screen would be you know would be uh, controlled by this remote control so for example if i just touch it so if i touch the screen of my mobile phone the you know the pointer is moving there is a key available there is a app available so whatever the app is there 
in the in the panel it will be shown over here and if i just touch the mouse the mouse is there like this so for example if i just if i wanted to open this so i am just scrolling and tapping on my screen and the entire panel is working like this and if i wanted to just having anything so there is a you know and uh, if i wanted to teach infinity software whatever the you know whatever you want to do you can do that great we can also uh we can also open some kind of apps which is already been in the panel we can open it through our uh phone as well so for example if i just try to open one of the app this is the human body 3d simulation app we can activate it over our phone so it takes slightly uh half a minute time to open or it is totally depend on your you can see you can uh, totally depend on your internet speed as well so as you can see this is the through my you know through my phone i'll just started this app and if i just wanted to operate it through my phone i can easily do that and if i just wanted to change the shapes you can have that skeleton can also have that respiratory system you can also have that cardiovascular system we can have that so we can run the entire platform of all the panel all the uh, you know the apps or the functionality of the panel we can do through our e share app as well one more important thing that we can connect up to 9 devices at the same time through e share panel so for example if there is a vc conference is going on and everybody wants to share some of the presentation and some of the you know uh, marketing presentation is kind of so you can just connect from you know from the setting he he is setting and he just connect his device any person can connect his device through the e share app and we can log in according to it so this is the all this is also a very important uh, uh app available in the panel as well one more thing there is a very beautiful uh, device we are having right now this device is the air mouse device so as this is the air mouse device the beautiful thing is that it comes with the inbuilt mic uh, it comes with the qwerty keyboard and the air mouse functionality itself so for example if i just wanted to uh, as you can see there is the pointer is there and i just wanted to open some of the app so for example if i wanted to open a app and uh, chrome is there i'm just going to open the chrome yeah. 
and through this iPad, I am just opening this thing. Right now I am moving to the website of the Pentagon Tech Fusion. So this is the website I am having right now. And if, if I just scroll it, it would be look like this. If I wanted to look any kind of product lineups, so these are the product lineups that we are having right now video conferencing, different solutions that we are having right now. So there are multiple functionality we can do through our air mouse as well. Now the Android part it is entirely done. Now I am moving to this window part and I will just try to explain you that there are some lot of uh, softwares and the all the functionality how it will be like this. So with this one click button we can just shift our Android panel into the Windows thing. So as you can see it will look like our computer screen with this with the our very well known windows so it will be uh, the multi, uh, the interface will be will be look like this every time and whatever you have just you know pasted on our screen so it will be look like this so it has a very you know very common and very kind of a user friendly app, uh, adaptation over here so we can just we can open if we want to open our camera we can open it this is our VC camera if I just wanted to shift this camera from one to you know from our another camera so we can do that as well okay this is the QR code One more thing, we can just record any kind of a video as well. So for example, if I just wanted to add some kind of video, so this will be the video and okay. Now I am going to record one of the video of that and this is the kind of a video that we are having right now. So I have just recorded some of the uh, you know some of the glimpse of what we are doing over here and as you can see there is a VC camera it is up in the you know above of the panel and it and it will record each and everything like this. It will also auto correct the auto tracking the picture and it also has a inbuilt mic in it. right? So, I have just recorded each and everything over here and the recording will be look like this. So, this would be the this would be the entire uh, recording that we are having right now. So right now there are multiple uh, software that we are also giving you. There are one of the software is very important software that is Teach Infinity that we are giving you right now. So this Teach Infinity software is a whiteboard software and I am giving you the brief uh, introduction of how it is going to work. So as you can see there is a you know there is a like our note software 
here is also a you know tray available over here and if i just take it like it gives you the some of the uh, subject options so we can have the math physics and the chemistry so for example if i take the uh, physics so the entire functionality of the uh, you know of the whiteboard would be based on the physics uh, studies or physics experiments so as we can see this is the smooth pen that we are having right now so this will be the smooth pen this will be our intelligent pen so what intelligent pen do 